Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Lorenzo Valerio, and I'm here today to present you our business idea, Agro. Nowadays, it is common to see that many people eat junk food. Therefore, we wanted to give people a chance to eat healthy food during their days. Another reason why we wanted to do this, uh, because in our present time, more and more people suffer from overweight. As you can see here, this is the percentage of people in overweight in the United Kingdom. Another reason why we wanted to do this uh, after we arrived in London, we were shocked about the amount of people who are homeless. It is way more than we expected. So this is why I wanted to ask you, how many people suffer from being homeless in London? Can you tell me? Do you have an idea? Okay, as you can see here, more than 12,500 people are homeless in London. 12,500 people, a big number. As a result, we created a business which will sell daily fresh vegetables and fruits as a snack in the inner city. We wanted to grow our vegetables and fruits on rooftops due to the fact that most of the rooftops are not in use. With our business, we want to show that at those red stress rules of our daily lives, we can still eat healthy without a big expenditure. In addition, we also want to make an impact in our social community. So we came to the conclusion that one of our workers will be a homeless person, which we want to give a second chance and also reintroduce it to the community. If we are successful, we want to do this with more people. Now I would like to give the floor to my colleague Liliana, who will tell you about the social aim of the project. Uh, we're considering giving part of the produce um, to homeless who need food, who need food. So this way we're contributing to um, sustain the community and help the weak um, of the neighborhood. So we would like to partnership with um, Whitechapel Mission, and um, which is an association that gives and um, has a job to um, make a bridge and like. Um, give to the homeless the food they need. Uh, then we will also this way provide lunches and dinners. Uh, but more, moreover, um, we will also um, we would also like to provide um, the people in need, so the weak uh, part of the community with job. So not only like contributing in a better bettering their uh, physical uh, nutrition, but also. Um, if they want, and especially if they're in the physical and mental condition to do so, they can um, join our project and become uh, workers of our um, good use. So, um, in doing so, so in hiring these people, we would like also to partner with uh, MIND for better mental health, as, and also with uh, CGL, which um, they're both association that um, like they help people in like recovery and rehab uh, from drugs and like social and mental issues. So uh, we would make sure this way that our workers are like to fully recovered before they start training and working and this way recovering from their uh, previous weak condition. Um, so yeah, this way then uh, for, for what may regard the environmental aim, um, having our um, roofs cultivated with uh, vegetables and fruit will help the city get like overall greener, so with our green spaces, but also with the uh, cultivation, we, um, we will have a bettering of the air pollution and also of the, the outlook of our buildings and the, the, uh, the look of the city will get just much greener and much nicer to see just like um, then for what regards the competition we will face we will um, especially face um, farms so the traditional um, way of cultivating so uh, a bigger produce that will um, be devolved to supermarkets and like big um, fields, so countryside traditional farms, 
but also growing underground, which is a newer project that um, that it was uh, developed in London Chapman, from, uh, and it's like a new idea, so a project that is similar uh, to, and it's like more innovative, like our project. But instead of cultivating in the rooftops, they do it underground in tunnels, like um, kind of a metro system of cultivating. Um, but I think we differentiate our idea and business plan because we have a stronger focus on social and environmental impact. Um, of course, like giving the job and food to the homeless, like we devote more. Our social aim is much stronger. So this way we stand up more. To leave the word to my colleague, uh, Anthony, that's gonna discuss further details of the project. Multiple factors to consider when thinking about the initial investment into our company. We're seeking an initial investment of 500,000 euros to start start the company. Um, of course, we will run into problems along the way, but we think we have a strong financial backing and also a strong uh, financial plan that will sustain our momentum. Our customer base will consist of middle-aged people who are domestic workers and who are environmentally aware. Um, we're also looking to target college students who want to promote a healthy eating lifestyle. Um, this concept that we've created will seem extremely appealing to them. Who do we sell to? We're looking to sell to local markets, independent houses and supermarkets. Uh, we think that we have found a niche that uh, these eco-friendly consumers will take to and support uh, and this will increase our brand value and personal lifestyle choices for them. Why then? Um, we want to promote healthy eating and we also think that people who are future focused are people who will invest in our company. We want to make a difference and that's what we thrive on. The fact that this is a new concept to the market is intriguing, but as there is no existing science to back this up, um, we will, our startup costs can vary. I will now hand you over to our colleagues who will explain the financials of our company. I'm gonna talk about the uh, about finance. First of all, our assets. Uh, being um, a startup, we got, we have to buy all the assets. That will be the main cost will be uh, the greenhouse plus the uh, rain collectors for a total of seven thousand three hundred thirty six pounds. The rest are cost of uh, for the. Um, a garden set and other uh, assets we can use during the business uh, for a total of almost uh, 8,600 pounds. Uh, while our liabilities are uh, the wages and uh, the biggest one is the soil. Um, from our research we understood that we, got, we have to change uh, soil every season uh, and the cost every season is uh, 3,500 pounds, while um, 2,000 pounds is the minimum wage uh, for our uh, workers that, as Liliana said, are going to be um, uh, homeless people. Um, so 1,000 each per month. Our, uh, being a startup, uh, we would probably face a situation where uh, we will not have enough um, resources to run our business. This is why uh, we are here to uh, get some investors. And this is why we are, we are applying the fast fail strategy. The fa fast fail strategy is a strategy which um, um, is based on trying to let the customer know, know about our project while we try to um, minimize our costs. This is why we, I uh, personally contacted the, uh, the uh, government here, uh, trying to find some rooftops where uh, the government, that the government can let us for free, uh, where we can our, uh, run our business. And we found three of them for now. So this is why we won't have any uh, rent related costs. Um, as well as the workers, the employees. Uh, we are employing only two employees right now at the beginning uh, because uh, as the five 
all of us are gonna work for uh, the first term as soon as we are making profit we're gonna uh, we will um, employ uh, more people uh, finally um, the revenue so uh, I forecasted to have a profit of 2,000 uh, pounds monthly and uh, this will be reached by selling to restaurants because the first the only customers at the beginning uh, will uh, would be restaurants and uh, we are planning to do so using the competitive pricing competitive pricing means have a price that is um, similar to the October competition uh, so similar to supermarkets uh, supermarkets and uh, street markets uh, I calculated that an average for uh, the uh, um, an average for the vegetables uh, will be uh, four pounds per kilogram. Uh, of course, of course, for each vegetable the price would be different, but in general uh, the average is five, uh, four pounds per kilogram. Uh, this is why with the profit of £2,000 monthly, we plan to um, expand uh, in the second to th third year. Now I'd like to give the floor to Lorenzo that will explain you about uh, the forecast of our business. Lorenzo. Thank you, Leonardo. Um, as you can see here, within the first year of the initial startup, we will begin to recover the cost of the state in the company, and also with the goal to increase our revenue. Once we have established our name in the market, we expect to expand our company and to locate three more rooftop areas to cultivate our product, which will give us a total of seven rooftops in London. Also, within this time, we will also start paying back our investors. In the fourth year of commencement, we will start to sell our products to eco-friendly stores all across London. This will allow our products to be more well known to the public, which will lead to an increase in our profit. In our fifth year, we have forecasted that we will have enough capital to expand our business to not only other parts of London, but also to cities in different countries that will have a lack of eco-friendliness. This would then, of course, increase total revenue to our field. Within the fifth year, we will also expand our company by, issues, by issuing franchises across Europe. In addition, we will begin to work with the city councils to help us expand such a hiring homeless people in return for food and wage. Thank you, and uh, now I would like to give the floor to my colleague, uh, to my colleague Costanz. Eventually, a great project requires great mind to take a social issue, as well as greater idea, like Einstein once said, we cannot solve the problem with the same thinking we use when we create them. Eventually, it is essential to protect the future of our children and the next generations. That's why we are aiming for alternative method such as cultivating, um, cultivating vegetal on a rooftop artificially. The main goal of this project is to protect our environment and eat healthy food, to provide for job, to provide jobs for people. So moreover, to provide jobs for people. Also, a section of the productions um, will be devoted to charity as well as low-link poverty. Um, the product and the vegetal grow regularly in this artificial garden and inside a, a warm atmosphere. To conclude this project, I hope through this presentation you all realize that invest in this project will lead to greater success. Investors are welcome to participate in our project because our company is based on honestly, transparently and loyalty. Thank you for listening.